Hello friends, in this video, we will discuss about the given problem from textbook Digital Design by M. Morris Mano and Michael D. Seleti. The problem is simplify the following Boolean functions using three variable maps. Six Boolean functions has given. These Boolean functions has to simplify using the three variable K map. Let us start with first bit. The given Boolean function is f of x, y, z equal to sigma. 0, 1, 5, 7. Here, x, y, z are input variables, f is the output variable and uh, sigma means it is the operator which specifies the operation of summation. Sigma 0, 1, 5, 7 means these numbers, nothing but midterm numbers. This is a three variable field map. In this, the leftmost variable should take left side, the remaining two variables should write on right side. For each variable, we should assign the binary values. Here, only one variable, therefore, 2 power 1 combinations of binary we should write. So 2 power 1 equal to 2. That means the total binary digits should be 0 and 1. 0, 1. Similarly, yz. yz means 2 power 2 combinations. That means 4. 4 means from 0 to 3. We should write in binary. It requires 2 bits. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Okay. Now we should assign these binary values for x and yz. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Here, 1, 1 first we should write later 1, 0. Because the K-map design which follows the unit distance code, that's why we have to write 1, 1 first. Later, we should write the 1, 0. We should assign the number for each box. For the first box, here x is equal to 0, y, z, 0, 0. That means x, y, z, which are 0, 0, 0. So, based on the binary weights, 2 power 0, 2 power 1, and 2 power 2, the equivalent values are 1, 2, 4. The equivalent binary weight should be 0. There is no 1. So, this is 0. Similarly, 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 1. So, this is 1. Therefore, the corresponding binary weight is 1. Now, we should write the 1 equivalent value. 1. Similarly, 0, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1 means 2 plus 1. Because here in these two positions, we have 1s. 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay. Now, 0, 1, 0. This is 0, 1, 0. Its equivalent value is 2. Similarly, here 1, 0, 0, 4. 1, 1, 1, 7. In this way, we should assign the numbers for each and every box. Next, here this is the SOP form. Because these are the minimum numbers, we should keep 1s in the corresponding minimum boxes. In the place of 0, 1, next and 7, 1. Now, make it two groups. Here, 0 and 1, these two are adjacent each other. That's why we should make it as 1 pair. Similarly, these two are adjacent each other. 1 and 5 also, these two are also adjacent each other. But this one already, it is adjacent to 0. And 5 also adjacent to 7. So that's why it is not necessary to make 1 and 5 again as another group. Now we should write the simplified Boolean expression. This is the first group. This is the second group. This, this group exists horizontally in this row and these two columns. So this row means 0. 0 means x bar. Vertically for y, y is 0 and here also 0. Therefore, for y, 0, 0 is common. Therefore, y should be complemented. Next, for z, z means this is 0 and this is 1. That means 0 plus 1 means z plus z dash value should be 1. Therefore, z should be skipped. Therefore, the equivalent product is x bar, y bar only. Plus, next to the second group lies in second row and in these two columns. Second row means 1. 1 means x, normal form. Next, in these two positions for y, 0 and 1. Therefore, y plus y dash, its value is 1. So that y should be skipped. Next, for z, 1, 1. That means z. So this is the simplified Boolean expression for the given Boolean function. Next, second bit. In minimum number box 1, place 1. Next, 2 and 7. Now, make it to groups. These 4 are make into 1 quad. The remaining 1 is there. Therefore, this 1 is adjacent with 3. Now, we should write the simplified expression as f of x, y, z equal to. For the first group, what two ones group, it lies in first row and in these two columns. Therefore, this is x dash. Vertically, for y, 0 and 1, it should be skipped. And for z, both are 1s. Therefore, x bar z. 
Similarly, for this 4 1 group, this 4 1 group pad lies in both rows and in both columns. Therefore, here both rows we have to take. Therefore, x means x dash plus x. So, its equivalent value is 1. That means x should be eliminated. Okay. Next, here in these two cases, y is having both 1s. Therefore, y is common. Z, Z means 1, 0. It should be skipped. This is the simplified expression for the second group. Next, see bit 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, make into these two as one group and these two as one group. Suppose when you see these two, these two are a diagonal. Now, we should make as two groups. This is one group and this is another group. Okay. Now, we should write the simplified expression f of x y z equal to. For the first group, this group lies in first row and in these two columns. So, first row means x dash. Next, vertically for y, 1 is common. Therefore, normal form of y. For z, 1, 0. Therefore, z should be skipped. Plus, this second group lies in this second row and in these two columns. Here, 1 means x and for y, 0 is common. Therefore, y bar. Next, for z, 0, 1 means it should be skipped. Okay. So, x bar y plus x y bar. This is the simplified expression. So, which is equivalent to x, x r with y. This is the equivalent formula. Okay. Next, f of x y z equal to sigma 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. Now, we should make these four as one group. These are remaining twos. Okay. Suppose, if I make these two as one group. Now, we should write the simplified expression. Here, x y z is equal to... For this group, this group lies in both rows and in these two columns. So, both rows means x should be skipped. For y, 0, 1. Therefore, y also skipped. Only for z, 1, 1. Therefore, z, z is the only variable for this group. Plus, for these two ones group, here it is. This group lies in both rows and only single column. Okay. Now, what is the product term? Here, x should be skipped. But here, 1, 0 means it is a y, z dash. Okay. This is the simplified expression when these two ones as one group. If, suppose if I change this group as four ones group, because these two ones are adjacent to these two ones also. So these four ones as one group. Okay. Now we should write the simplified expression with these two four ones groups. Okay. F of x, y, z equal to. But the first group as usual, there is no change at all. Z plus the second four ones group lies in both rows. Therefore, X should be eliminated. And vertically in these two columns, it is existed. Therefore, for Y, 1, 1. That, that means the Y is common. What about Z? 1, 0. Therefore, Z should be skipped. Okay. So, only one variable. Therefore, final answer is Z plus Y. Okay. This is a second equation. Okay. When we compare these two equations, the first equation is having, so the number of literals should be 3. Okay, whereas for the second equation, the number of literals should be 2. So, which is better? Always the simplified expression with less number of literals is better. So, that means always we should make a group with more number of ones and try to make less number of groups. That's why we should prefer the only second method. Okay, next this is f of x, y, z equal to sigma 0, 2, 4, 6. Here again, instead of these two as one group, it's better to make a group with the four number of ones. So that means when we fold this k map, these two ones are overlapping with these two. Okay, that's why we, it is better to make a group with the four number of ones. Okay, with the four ones. This is only single group. Okay, now we should write the simplified expression as so, this group lies in both rows. That's why x should be eliminated or skipped. Now, vertically in these two columns. So, for y, again, 0, 1. That means y also skipped. Next, for z, 0, 0. That means only z dash. This is our solution. Next one, f of x, y, z equal to sigma 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Here also, first we should try to make a group with more number of ones is better. Okay, always because when we make the group with more number of ones, it gives the less number of letters in the product term. That's why it is better to make these four ones as one group. Next one. The second group is these two as another group. Okay, because these two are adjacent. Now we should write the simplified expression. F of x, y, z equal to this four ones group. This should lie in last row and in all columns. Okay, 
long second row means this is x one means x vertically vertically when we observe for y two zeros and two ones that means equal number of zeros and equal number of ones so y should be eliminated okay similarly for z also zero one one zero that means two zeros and two ones okay z also skipped therefore only one only the product term is having only single variable okay plus next for these two ones this group lies in both rows and only only in this column okay now both rows means x should be skipped only this column means one one that means yz okay this is the simplified expression